In this video, we will be covering how to add applications manually in Server and Application Monitor, or SAM for short. There will be times when you need to modify the applications that are monitored for a specific node. For instance, a new application may be added to a server, or monitoring requirements for existing applications may have changed. In such cases, the most direct way to address these changes would be to simply add applications manually. New applications can be added by using the Add New Application Monitors wizard or they can be added using the Manage Templates page. In this video, we will demonstrate both processes. First, we will cover the Application Monitor wizard. Starting from the SAM Summary page, go to Settings on the menu bar and select All Settings. Now click on SAM Settings. In the Getting Started with SAM section, click the Manually Assign Application Monitors link. Next, you will need to find the template for the application you wish to monitor. SAM's templates are sorted by the various tags that are added to each template. To sort through the available templates in SAM, click on the drop-down labeled Show Only. This will provide you a list of tags to assist you in selecting the correct template. For the purposes of our tutorial, we will be adding a SQL application template to an existing SQL Server. Click on the drop-down menu and select SQL Server. Note that this is sorted in alphabetical order. Once you have selected SQL Server, a list of available templates will be displayed. We will be selecting the Reporting Services template, then click Next. This will take us to a page where we will need to choose which node to apply this template to. Nodes can be grouped together in various ways, for example, IP address, location, system name, or operating system vendor. Also note that you can take advantage of the search feature to search for a specific node. We will be applying this template to a Windows machine, so let's expand the Windows group and select the node that it will be assigned to. You can assign the selected application template to multiple nodes by checking the box next to their names and clicking the green arrow. Then click the Next button to complete the node selection. Here you will choose the credential used in monitoring the application. The two options we have to choose from are Inherit Credentials from Template or Assign a Custom Credential. We will choose Inherit Credentials from Node and click Test. If successful, the results will show Finished successfully with Up status in green, letting us know that the credentials have been verified. Once this is done, we'll finalize the process and click Assign Application Monitors. This will take us to a screen that will restate the changes that we have made. To exit, simply click Done. The other way that templates can be assigned manually is through the Manage Applications Monitor Templates page. To access the Manage Applications Monitor page, from the SAM Summary screen, select All Settings from the menu bar. Now click on SAM Settings. In the Application Monitor section, click on the Manage Templates link. The Manage Applications Monitor page is separated into two sections. On the left is a list of all the templates sorted by their tags, and on the right is a table that displays information about each of the templates. Here we can create new templates, assign templates to existing nodes, delete templates, and more. For our purposes, we will again choose SQL Server from the list of tags on the left. This time, let's add App Insight for SQL. App Insight for SQL is unique because it provides a lot more detail on your SQL servers, such as database size and long-running queries. App Insight templates cannot be assigned to nodes using the method we discussed earlier. Once you have selected the App Insight for SQL template, click the Assign to Node button. First, enter the address of the node in the Server IP Address section, or click on Browse, and then select the node by its name. In the SQL Server instance name, enter the SQL Server instance you want to have monitored. If the field is left empty, the default instance will be monitored. If you need to assign a port used by the SQL Server instance, Click on the drop-down next to SQL Server Port Type and choose Use Static Port. In the SQL Server Instance Port field that will appear, enter the port number. In this example, we will be using the default port. Lastly, select the needed credential to authenticate. In our example, we will select Inherit Credentials from Node. Then test the credentials by clicking Test. And if the result is positive, Test Successful will be displayed. Once these steps have been completed, click Assign Application Monitor. This will bring you to a summary page. Click Done. Back on the application summary, expand App Insight for SQL and then expand the node. Click on the newly assigned template and this will display the detailed view of the node monitored by the App Insight for SQL template.